another beautiful day and it's gonna be really hot probably 107 today we are replacing downspouts with bigger ones so david here is taking off the small downspout you can see right there you got debris sticking up in there so it clogs up lots of trees we're gonna install max flow outlets super size uh three by four downspouts with leaf traps we're gonna clean the gutters and adjust the gutter in the back that's not flowing so let's get to work <laughs> getting the gutters cleared out making sure they're empty all right so today we're doing the large max flow outlets pick these up at gutter all or gutterall.com super size outlets never have a clog so today i'm going to show you how to install it let's get going so first of all we got to remove the old outlet and you do that by grabbing it and twist your pliers you don't have to hit there's no noise and that's it right there you see that next thing you want to do is you want to make sure the outlet is uh See, right, right here, I'm looking. I need to go that way a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna scratch it just a little bit right there. I can see the scratches. And next, I'm gonna open it up. Don't make it too difficult. Just like that. You can use pliers to unfold it. Just like that. Just like that. We're just basically opening up the outlet. That's like four times bigger. We're gonna go ahead. Man, pretty big. And cut the sharp edges off. We don't want anybody getting up in there and cutting themselves so and there's a screw in there not anymore like that just get rid of all the sharp edges okay now we're ready for the install so here's our oh interesting i've been i was holding my scissors the whole time <laughs> So it's, you, it's Monday morning. Yeah. Next thing we want to do is take your outlet and apply glue right here on the edges where it's going to make contact. Just like that. We're going to grab a drill, some black tiny screws. We're going to install this like that. What we want to do is put the screws on the edge because we don't want them in the middle of the gutter. And we're gonna secure it. I put a little bit too much glue. I'll, I'll remove the extra glue. Don't over tighten your screws. I'm gonna go through and just get rid of that glue. Just like that, okay? Beautiful. And our outlet is complete. And that's how you install a max flow, don't fall. Completed the downspout. I ended up cutting the elbow a little bit to make the elbow shorter because we need all the clearance that we can. And look how beautiful it is. Good thing I moved the outlet over that way because look how straight that is. That's what we want. So now your debris would be right there. You can clean it, it's good to go. Get them gutters cleared out. So we have a situation here. Downspouts over here. I think it's a little bit low here with the posts. It doesn't have a solid foundation all the way across. 
So therefore, we gotta adjust this gutter just a bit, maybe even cut the backside and lift it. Check this out. So these outlets, they're clogged. That's where we're gonna open them up, put a nice big outlet. So all those trees, let's see. You, I don't know if you saw that. I just kind of lifted my phone. So definitely going to help out. Make make all the leaves kind of fly through here. Downspout number two turned out beautiful. Very nice. Got downspout number three done. Turned out really nice. And we have downspout number four over here. So that gutter right there is a little beat up. A branch or something fell. What happened was the actual fascia board came off. Let's finish off with this downspout. So did a little transition here to make it nice and beautiful. So right there, when the tree whacked that, the actual fascia board kind of popped open we tried to add a few screws up there but the gutter is damaged so the proper repair would be to remove the entire gutter get a nice thick 032 gutter installed and at that time install some lag bolts into the fascia board but for now it should be good should work